The next benefit we found for high self-esteem was happiness. People with high self-esteem are generally happier than people with low self-esteem. When times are hard or stressful, which happens to all of us, high self-esteem gives you a little more resilience. It makes you feel better. For people with low self-esteem, on the other hand, when bad things happen to them, it can really just sort of devastate them. It knocks them down for a while and they have trouble getting themselves up and getting going again. High self-esteem seems to give you a little more to draw on to uh, get over that. In, in plain terms, high self-esteem feels good. Uh, obviously, it's no accident that low self-esteem is linked to depression. Researchers have struggled for years to establish which comes first, the low self-esteem or the depression. Uh, and the answer isn't clear. They're deeply intertwined. It looks like maybe low self-esteem comes first or be an early warning sign or maybe makes you more vulnerable to depression. But then depression probably makes the low self-esteem wor worse. Uh, so there's certainly some back and forth. Regardless, the link between low self-esteem and depression is one further and important sign that high self-esteem goes with feeling good. Are there other, other benefits? The problem for research is how to establish what the benefits are. People with high self-esteem think they're terrific. They think they have all kinds of good traits. And so if you take their word for it, you'll fall into the same trap as the psychologists did in the 1980s, which is to conclude that, wow, high self-esteem is the pathway to total success in life. But if you look for objective measures and don't take people's word for it, then most of those benefits disappear. The thing is, when filling out questionnaires, some people are just happy giving very positive answers, and other people give more neutral answers. Now, we measure self-esteem by giving people a questionnaire. Uh, and you score high on self-esteem because you're saying that you're great. In other words, rating yourself very positively on the questionnaire. If the researcher then gives them another questionnaire and says, well, how smart are you, or how popular, or how successful, the people who like to give themselves high ratings on the self-esteem will do so there too. So they'll create the impression that high self-esteem is linked to lots of good things. But it could just be that that's how they answer questionnaires. I remember what we saw earlier about self-deception. You can't always just trust what people believe because people exaggerate how good they are. Um, so, for example, suppose you are a researcher and you want to find out if self-esteem goes with intelligence. So you measure their self-esteem and you ask them then how smart they are. People with high self-esteem, they think they're smarter than other people. There's a significant positive correlation. The higher their self-esteem, the higher they will tell you their IQ is. But if you actually give them an IQ test, there's no difference between high and low self-esteem. If anything, it's slightly in the other direction. Or another example, suppose your, your research uh, has people rate their physical attractiveness. If you ask people how good looking are they, people with high self-esteem say, oh, I'm pretty gorgeous. Uh, people with low self-esteem, no, not so much. So there are a lot of studies like that. But a few laboratory studies went farther. They would take pictures of the people and then show them to others and have people rate the pictures for attractiveness. Then there's no difference as a function. High self-esteem people are not any more attractive. So, what do we get from this? People with high self-esteem claim to be above average in many respects, but mostly this is just being superior in their own mind. The objective measures show they are really just average. Uh, they are, the, the two main benefits of thinking that you are good that stand out objectively is that you may uh, be generally happier and have more initiative. That's what goes with high self-esteem. The rest of it, high self-esteem, otherwise correlates with overestimating uh, your good traits and good qualities.